So what's up everybody, War here, welcome back. So today we're gonna go over kind of a juicy topic in a way, and I'm gonna show you how to, or what my way, to efficiently GR speed farm using your keys and kind of piggybacks off my video we did to uh, maximize our EXP per hour. So it a lot of people I think have some questions about that and how to do it and how much time you spend inside of your town in between GRs. So there's a few things that we're gonna go over um, while we're speed farming. So the first thing that I wanna mention is, and I'm gonna piggyback off of Rax's term here, so shout out to Rax, is the town is lava. You wanna spend as least amount of time in here as possible while you're farming GRs. So that includes spending blood shards, you know, salvaging items, and then using the book to identify legendaries. You want to spend the least amount of time. So how do we do this? The best way we do this is by completing as many GRs as it takes to fill up our inventory. Once our inventory is full, then we're gonna, going to identify everything. Then we're going to salvage. And then we're gonna spend any blood charges that we have, and then we're gonna go back into doing GRs. So that's the kind of order of events that I like to do. And you're gonna see some items that once we fill up, there is gonna be some items that are left behind. And there's also gonna be some uh, blood charges that are left behind because all of this is about being efficient, using our time as wisely as possible. So. What I am going to do real quick is I'm just going to spend my blood shards and just get rid of them just so we can kind of start from scratch here. Um, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Now, when it comes to your items from using your blood shards or the items you get from the drops in the GRs, for me, if you already have a build completed like I do right now with this build, the only thing I'm looking at is stuff I need for this or if an item pops out that I need for another build, then I'll keep it. Otherwise, it has to be ancient. If it's not ancient, I'm not looking at it. I don't care what item it is. I'm going to salvage it and just move on. Okay, that's my best advice I can give you for your items. And you also don't want to spend a lot of time just looking at them. You should have like a general consensus of the item. So if I find another bar, another barber, if it doesn't have my stat priorities like I have here, then I, I don't care. It's just gone. I just, I just scrap it. You don't need it. So if you do get items that you need for a current build or in a, or a different build that you're building, like another character, and after you identify them, you're like, oh, I just, I need the barber. Okay, I got the barber. I just run over here, slam it in a tab, like just throw it in a tab and then boom, you're just, that's it. You don't look at it. You don't worry about anything else. And then just, then you go back to like doing more riffs. Once you're done with your rift session and spend however many keys you want, then you can come back to your stash and just kind of divvy up things like, okay, I'm gonna move this over to my witch doctor tab, this over to my, you know, my monk tab, and then worry about divvying it out later. You can have a whole separate tab for doing that, which is really good when you're just getting as many items as you can. So in, in your greater rift key farming and speed farming stuff, you wanna make sure that you are using act one because it is the shortest distance after you come out of the portal between your book, your stash, using Kadala, and then your armorer to salvage things. It is the shortest distance, and then you're right back at the next GR. So make sure that you're using Act 1. Um, I guess if you're using abilities to move faster or you can teleport, you can maybe do Act 2. Um, uh, but definitely not Act 3, 4, or 5. Uh, I guess you could tell it when you come out, you got these two here, stash here, book there, and you could just, you know, jump teleport to here and then come back. So, but act one is definitely has the shortest distance between all that, which is the reason why we use act one when we're farming. So if you're doing 90 or whatever GR you can do, you want to do it in the fastest time possible. So for example, if GR 90 is my fastest time under two minutes, say it's sub two minutes. When I say sub two minutes, that means that you can do GR 90 on any map with any mob type under two minutes. The sub two minutes shouldn't be, oh, well, it's going to be a sub two minute run on the best maps, because then that just means when you get a terrible map, 
you're gonna it's not gonna be sub two minutes you're gonna be over two minutes so sub two minutes means you can run any map on gr90 under two minutes regardless of what it is or the mob type that's how i define it other people may think about it a different way because then what happens is when you can do any map under two minutes when you get the best maps now you're like closer to doing these in a minute and a half or a minute 20 which is just even better now you're doing them even faster so uh that's the kind of order of things that we're going to do so we have a lot of grs here and if you guys want if somebody would out of chat just kind of uh give me a timer or what do you think my time is in between each one because some people talked about well per hour you still have to farm keys and and then you still you know you got to spend all this time doing that and all that so when you're speed farming i want to note that you're just doing keys if you're if you're speed farming for exp and using your greater rifts you shouldn't be doing it doesn't count doing nephilim rifts to gain keys like i have 76 in reality i wouldn't want to grind nephilim rifts until all these are gone and then you rinse and repeat you grind up nephilim rifts until you get a big number and then go back at it so this is what we're going to do we're going to do a, a gr and then i'm going to kind of show you how i do in between and we'll probably get three in so let's just do a 90 and just rock so it, it's just kind of one of those things where i think people don't utilize their time efficiently when doing it and really i should be doing it on my on my demon hunter just so we can speed through this even faster but that's okay um but i think like maximizing your time a lot of people in those comments were just talking about like hey you got to do all this stuff and you know it's not enough time you're going to spend a lot more time than you think and i don't it's really not the case i mean if you have a set game plan and you just think town is lava then you're not really gonna be too concerned about it but then again, I know a lot of people just, if you're trying to gear a character or another character, you want to look at everything and that's fine. But if you're going in with the idea of, hey, I'm speed farming for EXP and I want to just like rack through some stuff, then this is by far the best way I do it. I mean, I don't care about anything else when I'm doing it. Let's roll. We're actually kind of doing not too bad for this. Big old big mama doo doo. And I love dead ends, man, because I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest at finding dead ends in Diablo 3. The absolute greatest. I mean, I am just a rock at it. There was the entrance. Okay, at least we at least we're gonna end on a good map. At least we'll end on a good map, guys. This is a good map to end on. Ooh, baby. You just feel the explosions from Spirit Barrage. Let's go. The elites. There we go. So when you're going through this process, you're gonna do exactly how I do it here. You'll just grab everything real quick. Grab all your items. You don't care what they are. You don't even look at them. You come over here, you level up a gem. What you can do is at about three, you can start your town or two really. And then you can get that going. It's really two, I did three, I'm bad. It's really just about two. And then you can get the time the town portal timed out you go through now imagine my inventory is full right imagine it's full so we talk we come over here we're just going to identify everything if you're timing me in town we should be under 30 seconds come over here salvage not ancient right none of these are ancient done and then we're back into another rift like that's under 30 seconds easily you could argue maybe 20 seconds if you really timed it but that's exactly how you go in between rifts and if you your inventory is not full then you just as soon as you talk to the guy to end the rift you immediately join another one you shouldn't be doing anything else besides that 
Let's go. Tabito, Chuck Norris can slam a revolving door. <laughs> have you speaking of Chuck Norris? Have you guys seen the uh, that that Chuck Norris meme video where he fights like a thousand Jedi or something like that, and the guy's like, "All right, I just want to watch this to make sure they get it right." <laughs> and it shows them running at Chuck Norris or whatever, and it's like, "This isn't right." <laughs> he would have won already. <laughs> it's like there's something wrong here. Uh, Cassix, thank you. 22 seconds. So it took us 22 seconds to do just that in town. So if you spend your blood shards, it should take you the other 8 seconds. You should be spending no more than 30 seconds in town. That is it. No more than 30 seconds. Ooh, are we going to one floor this? I think we might one floor this, guys. We are strong with the Spirit Barrage. Uh, we're not going to one for it. That's okay, though. Woo, baby. Close, though. So close. Under two minutes. Got to love it. Boom, come over here, just hit this. We're just zooming. <laughs> Chuck Norris is the reason Waldo hides. So again, on the two, we come out. So normally, my stuff's not full, my gems aren't maxed, I would instantly just go into another rift. But then if you want, you come over, you identify everything and just destroy it. I just think there's like so many ways to just optimize your time in here when it's you know town is lava so again you're just coming through like if i needed a piece for another build i would do it otherwise boom like you're just you're just done then you keep spending your shards spend them until they're gone boom salvage everything don't need don't need don't need even though that death mantle was ancient you're not going to use it on any build so you're done so that's how i when i'm gr farming and you're spending 22 to 30 seconds in town in between when you have max items and max blood shards, that's it. You're just done. It shouldn't take you no more than 30 seconds in. Uh, I did it in 22 seconds. So that's just how I do it, guys. If you guys have questions about how to optimize, that's just the best way I do it when I'm running GR farming for uh, EXP as well as items. Now, as you keep doing this, you're gonna get better and better and better at it. So. This is just my tips and tricks. I really hope that this helps you guys out, especially if you saw my other video on how to kind of maximize, like, hey, I'm doing GR 90s in a minute and a half, but I gain more XP if I'm doing GR 95s in two minutes as opposed to a GR 90 in a minute and a half. So that's just how I do it. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch everybody in the next one. Peace.